Behold His Majesty, the King of Condoms. We join him in his kingdom, Kibera Slam in Nairobi, Kenya, Africa's largest urban slum. This is my kingdom, this is my territory, this is my Paris. I come here uh, every day and use what you call a 3D approach. First uh, item is to engage the community, to have a relationship with them, to have what you call trust building. I teach them on how to use condom, expiring date, stages. From there, I do the demonstration. So, from demonstration, everybody will pick condom depending to the need. There are people who want many, there are people who want one. Stan Lingara, a.k.a. the king of condoms, started advocating for safe sex and the importance of using condoms after high school. After losing a close friend to HIV AIDS, Stanley decided to start honest and open conversations about HIV with as many people as possible. To draw people's attention, he wears this eye-catching royal outfit. This is very attractive and uh, it also makes me feel proud that I'm the king and uh, I'm able to interact with people in a very good level, at a low level. They feel a king is high level coming to the slums. It's very attractive to, to them. In the last two decades, HIV infections in Kenya have decreased by half. Organizations like LVCT Health, who supply the king of condoms with, well, condoms, have helped steer these efforts. However, 5.6% of the population still carries the virus, and recently, a new worrying trend has emerged. So we've noticed that now among the new infections, there's an increased number among the young people generally. So here we're talking about age about 15 to 24 years who are the, at highest risk of infection. In poor settlements like Kibera, infections among young people are particularly on the rise. I came to realize that there is a challenge in uh, condom bargaining because uh, the same girls, when you ask them why, why, what happened, they will tell me, I was, I, this man, he bought for me these, he started paying me rent, he started doing this, I trusted this man. We stopped using condoms. The king of condoms and his project supply girls with green farming bags full of vegetables so that they can sell the crops. Even this small income helps young girls become independent and less likely to engage in unsafe sex. 18-year-old Latifa Madia is part of the project and earns part of her living with a farming bag. They don't have to depend to those men who like to engage small girls in sexual activity so that you can get money to buy pads, your food. You'll have the confidence, eh? courage to say no. I, I can support myself. The king of condoms moves on to continue his daily mission to protect his kingdom, Kibera. I, I can't tell why HIV is an African issue. Over 70% of people living with HIV AIDS are here in Africa. The power of that simple thing called condom that can stop new HIV infection, I, I believe in it. Somebody who could have acquired HIV AIDS today maybe will postpone it forever.